<coughs> Hi, um, because, I don't know, because you're one of the, the people that works in his office, or you know the, can I ask like a basic question about um, where uh, Randy Camp and the Conservative Party stands? I voted Conservative uh, last time myself, like one of the only one of my friends that did. Um, you know, I'm only 25. I'm sort of embarrassed to admit that the only time I voted was last election. But um, it just long story short, my dad, when I was younger, um, gave me a number of uh, books that he considered important, and um, I've always sort of learned uh, leaned a little more right than some of my friends. Um, and so far, um, you know, I, admittedly the only time I voted was last time. But so far, I don't really have any problems with what I've seen, except. Uh, since I assume you know his positions, um, the one thing I didn't really get, because uh, my dad gave me a bunch of books when I was younger that were, I guess you could describe them as like classic conservative books, and I didn't know what's conservative about spending billions of dollars on programs that have been proven in other countries to be ineffective that only increase violence and profits or organized crime while doing nothing to stop drugs. Like the whole thing where I was reading. Uh, the new marijuana bill will put people in jail for 14 years if they rent or if they have a child in the house or whatever. I don't see what's conservative about going into people's homes and stuff. I mean, because I come more from like a classic conservative stance where like the government shouldn't be involved in that and shouldn't waste money. Well, well, I, I'm saying, what exactly is conservative about spending billions on programs that have been proven to be ineffective in other countries that only increase violence and the profits of organized crime? Because, I mean, I'm sure you've seen some of the studies in the last couple of years that show, um, you know, with the best of intentions in certain countries and whatever, um, more prohibition does usually lead, lead to more organized crime, more violence. Um, I mean, look at America and Mexico or China. Um, my friend pointed out the other day on Facebook that China has the largest concentration of heroin addicts in the world. So, I mean, I'm not saying everything should be legal, don't get me wrong, I'm not for that. But I just don't see what's conservative about, you know, invading people's homes and their private lives. And Because I sort of come from, like I said, my dad influenced me when I was younger and come more from like a classic conservative sort of style where, you know, the government doesn't waste money on things that have been proven to be ineffective, right? I thought that's sort of why I voted conservative. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think that there's a, um, a couple of responses I can give you. First of all, I'd be happy to uh, give your phone number to Mr. Kemp directly, and you can um, have this discussion with him, or I can For sure. to, to explain to you yourself. For um, sure. So, uh, but off the top of your head... Um, Right. And there, there is another, like, there's not a conservative party in, in, in Great Britain, and there's other conservative parties in other places in the world. For sure. That may or may not have similar policies as a conservative party in Australia as well. And yeah. I'm not sure about the, you know, uh, about... Um, well, no. Uh, was John Howard the conservatives in Australia? Policies, right? Yeah, I, I, I don't know if John Howard was... I thought he was, but they... Uh, they banned all sorts of stuff. Like I said, I'm not for I'm not for legalizing all drugs or I'm not saying willy nilly whatever. I just don't see like you know. I personally I don't smoke marijuana myself, but you know I, I think about friends that are my age and that are in college, right? And I don't see why those guys should go to jail. And admittedly, I'm only 25 and you know I only voted once so far, but you know I have read a lot since the age of about 16, and uh, I thought that I mean technically. Spending money like that and, you know, invading people's private lives, isn't that more of a neoconservative thing? Because it, it seems to me, at least from how I understand politics, classic conservative uh, views, at least from what I know, um, and what my dad's always taught me, you know, involves not spending money on things that have been proven not to work and not invading. I mean, you invade someone's life if, you know, they're like hurting, you know, a child or, 
you know, uh, you know, running something super dangerous or whatever, but I mean, invading someone's home for six marijuana plants, you know, and putting them in jail for 14 years. I mean, there's rapists that don't get 14 years. Right. It just doesn't seem balanced or right, you know. No, no, and for sure, no, and, no, and I, I, no, and, you know, uh, how do I say this? I don't think that every war is unjustified, but I, you know, um, so I'm not always um, on the side of never having conflict, but I also, you know, like some of my more left-leaning friends, I actually didn't think we needed new fighter jets and stuff like that. So, but no, in, in other respects, um, I've been, I've been pleased with, you know, what I've seen as fiscal responsibility. Um, admittedly, economics isn't a strong suit of mine, but from what I've watched on like the news and what I've gathered, but um, I just don't see how this part's conservative. Um, so I guess you said I could eventually um, just have like a polite back and forth with uh, Randy or whatever. Oh yeah, okay. Um, well, right, right now I'm only on my girlfriend's. Um, I'm on my girlfriend's iPod because we have Skype at home. So, um, I can give you my number, uh, where you can leave me a message or... No worries. I mean, it's probably a busy life, right? Okay, awesome. Oh, okay. All right, well, nice talking to you. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I did that for you, Canada. Because I love you.